How do you place a test print on demand order in your Shopify store, or maybe do a manual order for your customer? Let's find out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, we, here and we don't know each other, my name's Kerry, I'm the founder of Shirt School, and I created this channel to bring you the best strategies, secrets, and hacks to grow your online t-shirt or apparel business. And in today's video, we're looking at a very simple thing, uh, how to place a test order on your print on demand store. There's a number of reasons why you might wanna do this. Maybe you wanna order some items for yourself, or maybe you want to make sure that your print on demand uh, app is connected. Um, maybe you wanna do a test order or a manual order for a customer. And so we're gonna be covering that today. This is a question that's come up in my group quite a few times, so I wanted to answer it on this video. All right, we're looking at my screen. We're over in this test, uh, test store, Enneagram Life. Now, the first thing I want to say, just preliminary to doing this, is you, of course, you want to make sure that you have a print on demand app installed and you want to make sure that you have created your products inside of the print on demand app. Okay, so you, you don't want to create your products over here in the products tab. You want to make sure that you've created your products, you've uploaded your designs onto the products you want to use inside of the print on demand app. You see in this test store, I've got a bunch of print on demand companies installed here because I use this for a lot of videos. You see Custom Cat, Gear Launch, Gelato, and so on and so forth. So another thing I wanna show you really quickly is once you've created those products in your print on demand app, if you do go over to the product section of your Shopify store, you'll see the vendor over here on the right. And that should reflect the print on demand company uh, that you are using. You see these are all pretty much from Custom Cat in this test store. So that's important if you've got multiple print on demand providers or you just wanna make sure that the products uh, are connected and will be sent over to the print on demand provider, always make sure you check that vendor right there and just make sure that's showing your print on demand provider. So if we wanna place a test order and we've done all of the previous steps, we're just gonna hit this orders button right here. And so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna hit this create orders button up here at the top, create order. Next, once we get to this screen, we're gonna we're gonna, going to add the products that we want to uh, to put on the order uh, right here. We're gonna hit this browse button, or we can search. I'm just gonna hit the browse button. We'll go to all products, and we'll just select one of these in the size that we want. Again, you can search for the product uh, that you're looking for. Either way is fine. So we'll just do this first one here, which should be from Custom Cat, and we'll go ahead and do this berry color in an XL, and we'll add that to our order. Now you can continue adding as many products as you want right here. Uh, the next thing that we'll wanna do is we'll wanna add a customer or add a customer's information into uh, this order. So if you're gonna ship something to yourself, you wanna make sure and add it in the right side here, add your own address, your own information, or if you're creating a test order or a manual order for a customer, you'll want to enter the customer's information right here in the side. If I click on that, you'll see a few different things here. We can create a new customer and we can add all of the customer's info in right here. Now, once we've done that, it will pop up right here on the right. So make sure that you've added that customer's info. Otherwise, it will create an error in your print on demand app if there's no customer uh, right there. So again, you can add more products if you'd like. Once you're done, it's gonna show the total amount right here. So subtotal 23.99, we've got some tax of 202, and the total is 26.01. Now, a couple things to note here. If you just you know finish out the order like this, um, you're not obviously you're not gonna receive any money, and that's not the goal of this, but it will reflect a sale in your Shopify store of the 2601, but you're not actually getting any money, right? Because you're doing a manual order. So what I always like to do on these manual orders is I just add a discount and I go ahead and discount that down by 100%. Now what that means is it's not gonna register that any, any money has been received in my Shopify store, so it won't throw off my analytics, it won't you know, make it look like I have more sales than I don't. So I always put a 100% discount. Now be, what I want you to make, to make sure that you know is when you do that, you are still gonna be charged for the wholesale price of the item with your print on demand provider. So, um, so when you do this, it won't register a sale in your Shopify store, but of course I'm gonna be charged for that t-shirt 
in custom cat, you know, probably however much the t-shirt is, nine, 10, 11 bucks, you know, I'm gonna be charged that wholesale price plus the shipping. Hey, if you're enjoying this video today, would you please do me a favor, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it gets this video out to more people. It tells YouTube it's a good video and they'll push it out to more people that are searching for this content and need to see this content, need to get this help. So we'd love it if you click that like button. Also consider subscribing to the channel. We put out brand new videos on Shopify, print on demand, t-shirt businesses, every single Tuesday. And so by subscribing and hitting the bell, that makes sure you get notified of any new videos that we put out. Next, once we've got all the stuff in here, we've got the customer's info, we've discounted it down by 100%. All that we need to do is we need to click this button right here and we're just gonna click mark as paid. When we click mark as paid, it's going to process that order, okay? It's gonna process that order and it's gonna send it over to your print on demand App. Some print on demand apps take a little longer to register that order. Some of them go through right away. But once that's done, you have created a test order or you've created a manual order uh, for a customer. Some of the reasons you might need to create a manual order, let's say your customer orders some items and maybe they ordered the wrong items. You might wanna cancel the old order and create a manual order. Or let's say maybe something has gone wrong with your print on demand provider and order didn't get sent over or they've something is disconnected or not working, an error on the back end. You might need to create a manual order from time to time to correct that. The last step, if you want to verify that the order has gone through with your print on demand provider, is simply just to pull up your print on demand app and click on the orders tab. Now, this might look a little bit different depending on what print on demand provider that you're using, but in most cases, it's going to be called orders. You're going to click on that, and right here, you see that I have this test order. Order, the customer name test test that I put in it shows me the total cost uh, and the order has populated over here in the print on demand app that's all there is to it hey do you have a t-shirt apparel or print on demand business and you need more traffic to your store that's probably the number one thing that most online apparel sellers need they need more traffic they just simply need more people coming to their store to make more sales. If that sounds like you, I wanna invite you to an upcoming live workshop. It's a two-part workshop coming up on 1229 and 1230, and it's called Traffic Magic. It's the Traffic Magic Workshop. Now, I'm actually bringing on one of my students. He is partnering up with me, and we have we are presenting a workshop over two sessions that is revealing the top three strategies for generating more traffic that you need to know going into 2022. It's gonna be an incredible workshop and it's 100% free, but you do need to apply. We are not allowing everybody to come to this workshop. We have limited seats, but we also are only looking to work with people that have a working store and are just needing more traffic. So we do have to have you apply for this workshop. So if you just go over to trafficmagic.live, you can apply for the workshop and we'll see if you're a good fit and we'll extend an invitation to you to attend that private workshop if we think you're a good fit. So we'd love it if you put in that quick application if you're in need of more traffic. Uh, just go over to trafficmagic.live. Traffic we'll see you next week.